Hello on this last day of March. Yeah, already April tomorrow. April Fools, so be kind to one another though. It's been a rough year. Uh, this is a look at, from the Climate Prediction Center of winter versus what they forecasted, and it was a bust. They forecasted a pretty typical La Nina pattern with warmer than normal conditions in the south and east, colder than normal conditions right on our doorstep, but that didn't happen. It was actually a very mild winter and kind of the opposite. The south saw colder than normal temperatures. March, our first spring month of meteorological spring, well above normal, almost eight degrees above average, the eighth warmest March on record, in fact, and five of those top 10 warmest Marches are all just since the year 2000 and only four inches of snow this year. So not living up to its hype as a stormy month. Uh, and this is a North America perspective. Most of Central and Eastern North America, well above normal March temperatures with kind of the bullseye just North and West of us. And then the West Coast seeing colder than normal conditions all the way up to Alaska, in fact. And I get this question a lot. Has it been windier than normal? It's not. We've had a couple of windy days, but actually March ended up below normal for the average wind. And March is our windiest month of the year. Spring and fall typically are windier months because things are always on the move as far as temperature goes. Winter too and summer generally calmer. Of course, we can get thunderstorm winds, but that doesn't uh, tally into those average daily wind speeds. And they've had some warm temperatures in Europe too. Uh, we have not been alone uh, well into the 70s for much of Northern Europe, the UK unusual for them in Northern Europe to be that warm in the spring. And Japan too, the cherry blossoms are out there as well as Washington DC. And this comes well earlier than normal. Pretty cool site though, Nara Japan with the uh, deer sitting under the cherry blossoms. They've got over 1200 years of records of the cherry blossoms in Japan. They keep track of when that peak bloom is every single year. And this is the earliest ever, yet another climate change signal that they've seen. So late March for that peak of the cherry blossom blooms. So uh, definitely another sign of that. And another interesting sign of climate change, this has been getting some news lately, is the shift potentially in Tornado Alley uh, further to the east. So we've actually seen an increase in tornadoes in parts of the southeast, but a decrease in some of the typical panhandle areas uh, in, of Tornado Alley, Texas and Oklahoma. So some interesting news there and several theories as to why that might happen. Today's outlook for severe weather is in the southeast. This is along the front that came through us uh, on uh, Monday night. And of course has brought us the chilly temperatures and you can see that band of clouds and showers and activity all out ahead of that. So cold sunshine, there were some snow showers off to the west today uh, in a band of some clouds. So definitely chilly out there with temperatures staying in the 30s today, 20s for the northern part of the state, but there's that area of uh, a couple of snow showers and clouds to our west brighter generally as we moved east into some drier air and we'll see lots of sunshine in the next several days. This forecast looks phenomenal once we crawl out of these uh, very temporary chilly temperatures. Uh, in fact, look at the forecast for right through early next week. Not much going on. Maybe a shower uh, Monday night and then the next real best chance of any moisture looks to be a week from now. Maybe some showers on Wednesday, but that's still a week out. So this is our fire season too. Keep in mind any of these warm windy days Fires can spread quickly because we haven't seen the green up yet. Cold air moving out of here and then the warmth comes back in already starting Friday. Tomorrow will be warmer too, still below normal, but uh, by Friday we're talking about pushing 60, 70s for the weekend into early next week and a string of 70s. April averages only five 70s the whole month and we're looking at at least four of them in a row here coming up. So if that's any indication of what April will be like, it's gonna be a month very much like March mild. Uh, 40s for your Thursday. Again, after not getting out of the 30s today, near 60 Friday, some high clouds. Look at that weekend. First weekend of April looks gorgeous. This is not an April Fool's joke. We have a real shot at our first 80. That would come four weeks earlier than normal almost. Either Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Either one of those days could shape up to be close to 80 degrees. Very warm temperatures. You're going to see those tree buds popping, I think, uh, at least the early species. Uh, during the week next week and again dry right through Tuesday other than that maybe isolated shower chance Monday night.